hello guys welcome back to this tutorial based on where we left off the last time we talk about creating a light effect in our scene and based on what you can see on your screen they call it gobo effect these are textures that they add up to light to bring our scenes to light and it's being used in most of our product shots environments that we do see online so this gobo effect is what they basically use in creating this kind of lighting effect so i have this basic scene before we jump into that make sure you like subscribe and follow this channel so let's jump straight into it having this scene over here it's just a basic cube that i have on the floor and i block the back with a plane so with this example i'll show you how to create that google effect using cinema 4d and v-ray having the scene right up i will jump straight into creating my very light and use my rectangle light so with the light selected usually people you know grab the light try to position it tilt it the way they want and it's kind of stressful so we can use the light as a camera so that we can look through the light and position it the way we want so we go to cameras and then we go to use camera and we do selected object as camera so with this we are in the light we are using the light as a camera in the scene so i would just drag back way back pushing the light the way i want it i tilt it this way i tilt it i reposition the light and i put it right on top of my scene like this so i'll go back to cameras and use my default camera so this is where we have the light on the top and we do we do t to scale it up big enough to cover the scene so this is where the real magic happened just to create the gobo effect in v-ray let me just delete this real quick so with the light selected i'll go to texture use as texture i will check this one and i'll select the material so i have some few lights the gobo light effect textures over here so I'll do the first one. I'll do no. I'll come to general and I'll change the directional to 0.991. It has really projected out the light to cover the rectangular area that it's having on the scene. So with this, I'll lower my density to about 5. I'll do an interactive render and see how the scene is looking so v-ray and i hit my interactive render with this we have to go to our camera so i select my camera so this is what we are having so far this is the effect that it's creating in our scene and we can increase the light just a bit about eight this is basically how i've manipulated my light to give that feel that i had in my broadcast style animation so with that i used a colorful gobo light effect let's try the other texture right from my library i'll go to texture go to the project and select this one and see how it's going to give effect to our scene so right away you see that the effect in the texture is having direct effect on the cubes and the scene as a whole so basically this is how you go around with creating a global effect in cinema 4d using v-ray you can do a um, bunch of text run and see which one suits best for you i think this is looking more dramatic and if the shadows are too much you can drop in an hdr to fill in the shadows from there. This is your pro way of creating a global effect in your light in V-Ray. And basically, not to brag, this tutorial is not online. To create a global effect in Cinema 4D using a V-Ray is never online. So we are getting everything right here on this channel. And this is the same technique that I've used to create that light effect in the broadcaster animation. Follow this channel and you will regret it. I'm coming back with lots, lots more of stuffs that you're going to continue with the broadcast animation, going to have tight effects to 
composite a lot of things getting some stuff online some shapes animation tracking the camera the new shapes that we're going to add in the post production so all of this stuff coming your week very soon so guys make sure you subscribe and don't forget to hit the like button and comment down thank you see you next time